What's up, guys? It's King Daddy D Mac, and welcome! Welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved! That's right, we're playing here with Ark Omega! Having so much fun doing flips! My goodness, how's everybody doing today? Hope you're doing well, because me, I am doing probably one of the best I've ever been. That's right. You'll see in a moment why, but we got something pretty cool for you. Anyway, yes, I uh, just want to remind you at the end of the episode, we will be taming these three new epic hybrid creatures that we got last episode. So I hope you guys left some epic name suggestions. We got ourselves the Tech Magma Wyvern, the Namek, Nameless and Onic, and the Leech Icarus. All uniques too. So pretty dang cool. Of course, that was last episode. For this episode, yeah. Um, Some of the guys were out doing beacon uh, summoning with unique tokens, and uh, you'll never believe what they got ready for it bam we got the titanosaur unique it is called extinction it's a boosted level one done at the time when miracles were going off and it is an uncontrollable rampage variant that's a 24 times with uncontrollable plus then times six times with rampage it is one of the strongest multiplier creatures in this game. Yeah, but to make matters even cooler, it has a hybrid. Yes, with the Parasair, our protector. And um, yeah, we should be able to make almost like a new and improved version of our protector. Um, to help us out. Remember, the protector is the one that we do these uh, the protective bubbles with and is absolutely crucial for taking on a lot of the larger gods, creatures, bosses, all that sort of stuff. So I want to kick things off. Yes, making the hybrid with these two. Of course, you know what? Hold on. Now, one problem is this guy is uncontrollable. That means I have to have either an infinity stone weighing them down or right now we have him hitch so he doesn't move because he's just like it says, uncontrollable. Um, I believe the hybrid is going to become uncontrollable. But, you know, there's a flip side to that that also gives it the 24 times multiplier. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting. I have no idea what this hybrid's going to look like. To be quite honest, I didn't even think I was ever going to get it this season. But, uh, hey, the time has come. So I went ahead through in the paragons that we need to, uh, yeah, be able to do this. And let's go ahead and Ancient Protector and Extinction and Boom! Did we get it? Where's the egg? Where's the egg? All right. So we got our new hybrid egg. It's called, I think it's going to be called a Titana, uh, Titana Ceratherium. I believe it's what it's called. But uh, anyway, let's get that incubating up. I think it should be pretty cool. And um, in the meantime, let's go ahead and search for some dames. There is some epic stuff on the server. I've already gone out and checked quite a bit of it. Are we going to get lucky too? Spectral 116. I spent the last four hours taking on Miracle Guys over and over and over again. Um, just waiting for uh, stuff to respawn in after a server dino wipe. And uh, I got to say, almost everything is like crazy, crazy levels today. So um, there's a lot. There's a lot. I'm not going to put you through all of it, but... Um, yeah, we're going to be getting a lot today. So let's move on to the very first one I'm super excited about. Um, it's a guy that we have, but it is a far improved version of him and absolutely something that we want and need to move on to the next tier bosses. So it should be pretty cool. But in the meantime, guys, just want to remind you, if you're enjoying the series to show that amazing support, it helps me out oh so much by smashing that thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel or you haven't yet, seriously, what are you waiting for? It is the perfect time to subscribe. Also, be sure to check out the Discord. Links are in the description. I'm in there every single day, so I'd love to come and uh, see you guys. Also, ooh, we got a saddle. 
Also, if you want to play along with us, remember, we do have the member server for all you YouTube members and Twitch subscribers. Yep, both are welcome. Just remember with Twitch, if you have Amazon Prime in your family, you get a free Twitch sub every single month. So I hope you are using it. Just link the account. Anyway, um, yep, I will see you at the very first creature. All right, first tame of the day. We have just over here. Nope, not that guy. Yep, right down here. Whoa. Come here, buddy. Where'd you go? Look at we have a twister. Twister, if you don't remember, that's who we bred with our nest or did the hybrid with our nest or overraptor to make an insane, insane, epic and awesome um guy. All right, let's see. 58. I think we can go. Yeah, probably. Come here, buddy. Yeah, finally. Got him down, beautiful. All right, and how many kibble? Where's this thing? How many stinking kibble? One. I'll give him two just in case. I think it's just one. Yeah, baby. We got him. Come here, buddy, bro. Oh, all right. These stats on this guy are going to be insane as well. 56 in the melee. Let's go. Oh, this guy is absolutely one of the uh, guys at least used towards taking on our next boss. Yes, the final boss of the game. Very, very important. We're going to have to make a hybrid army. All right, next up, we have, where is it? Where is it? Shiver, Ghost Blizzard, Alpha Megalodon. Yeah, um, pretty dang sick. It will absolutely help us out as, um, you know, a dino that we use in the future for boss fights. Um, in particular, bosses that are in the water. It also is used for a hybrid, which is pretty cool. I do believe, I do believe the Megalodon hybrid. Oh my goodness. Um, let me get the area cleared out a bit, and then we got to wait until nighttime to do them. But thank goodness for the glow. I would have never noticed this guy. All right, finally, let's go do this. Oh my, do you see how much, uh, this is going to be pretty nuts. Um... Dude, okay. Dude, that was with an ancient arrow. Oh my lord, that was with an ancient arrow. Holy crap. All right, um, right, I'm going to have to switch uh, outfits to do this. Oh, this is going to suck. Oh my lordy. Um, We probably... I don't... I wish I had a flying... Dis like an ant disruptor. In fact, I probably should... Go ahead and make one like that at some point. But anyway, um, let's put on these so at least it doesn't waste as much. All right, let's switch up to our better bow. Okay. And... Ooh, now... Ooh, what the crap? Do you fly? Are you... What? How are you up here, bro? I'm so confused. I'm so utterly confused. All right, that's doing a lot better. Ghost Blizzard, but can ghosts go out of the water? Like, how does it go out of the water like that? Uh, I just hope it doesn't die or do something silly. I'm so confused right now. I also don't know how we can hit it all of a sudden, but before we were missing constantly. Maybe it wasn't like fully night or something. I don't know. All right. What do we do here? Come here, buddy. Come here. Oh, my goodness. Are you going to be perfect? Yes. Yes. Oh, oh. Um, I don't know how many it's going to take. It's definitely not that much. Uh, Three. All right, and tame up. I've seen this guy one other time, but he got away. But finally, we got the one that didn't get away. 
I guess we got the one that got away. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's one of those days. All right, let's move on to the next one. All right, next up, we have Alpha Fuel. Yeah, let's go, bro. So, Alpha... Yep, should be able to take that. And, ooh, we could have done higher than that. Holy crap! All right, I think this is one of the guys that's going to be able to spam their uh, attack move. All right, anybody coming for us? Nope. All right, what do we got? What do we... Crap. What do we got? What do we got? One unique gibble. Quick, quick, quick. Bada boom. Got it. Now, this is also the guy that will mix with the unique trilobite, which is the main reason I wanted him. So that's pretty cool. Who knows? Maybe we could even do another unique hybrid today. Yep. Pretty cool. All right. Let's carry on. All right. Next up, we have... The Lich King! Yeah, this guy is super sick. All right, go away. This one, actually, we already do have one of, but look at the level on this guy. It is going to be an absolute monster. And it's an ultimate, too. Oh, my goodness. Um... Come on. Got him! All right, let's get in that two kibble. And a one, a two, and tame up. Let's go, bro. Yeah, this one might be better than the one that we already have. That is awesome. I love the skin on this guy, too. All right, sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Let's carry on. All right, saving some of the best for last. Let's go ahead, just clear out ever so slightly. Get out of here. All right, um, you see that Dota Rex right there? Do you see them? All right, get. We have a prime meltdown Dota Rex. Yeah. And it's got our name all over it. Level 222. Absolute insanity. Yeah, this shouldn't be too bad to get either. Come on. Ooh, I don't know what's going on. I'm getting a whole bunch of lag. I might need to restart my computer. This is ridiculous. All right, come on, come on. And... Yeah, there's an update. Oh, oh. Uh-oh. I hope we're okay. I stopped because there was some bug or something. Oh, he was hitting us with his meltdown. That's what was going on. All right, come here. There we go. I don't know what is going on. I feel like it's got to be something with the update or I don't know. My computer is freaking out, though. All right, 13. Are you kidding me? That's a lot of kibble, but so worth it. Look at the level. This thing, uh, it might end up being what we use as a Dota. No, no, no. It might be what we use as a Dota Rax going forwards. We've got quite a few Paragons saved up. And yeah, we got it. Heck yeah. All right. I got one more major one and then I've got countless minor ones. But, um, holy crap, I'm going to go back to the base and I am going to quickly restart my computer because this is ridiculous. Oh, man, look at this little bugger. It's got three paragons on them. Um, I kind of want them. Not going to lie. Kind of want them. Um, it's it's all right level, but I've been wanting, you know, whenever I see these like weird blobs. Come on, get off, get off, get off. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Come on. Yeah, we got him out. Hole. Oh, crap. Everybody's going to be mad at us now. Oh, no. Oh, no. Get on here. All right. Let's just wait. Everybody not mad now. All right. Let's go get it. This guy is going to take lucky kibble to get. 
That's kind of cool. Essence uh, flying soldier dude. Oh, yeah. Let's also do a little bit of that. Epic. I don't know. It could be fun. It definitely could be fun. You know, like a solar that looks like this. <laughs> it's so weird looking. All right. Anyway, um, that was spur of the moment thing. Just, you know, I saw it. I wanted it. Anyway, um, the final guy that I really, really want should be somewhere on up in here. Let's go. I noticed him earlier when I was doing all my miracle stuff, and I was like, yes, we got to do this with the peeps. Look at this guy, Omega Phoenix. That means we can make him into, hopefully, let's get this cleared out. Hopefully, make him into a group god. Come on, guys. Get out of here. And got you. All right. Should hopefully be cleared out enough. Wait, wait, wait. There's this guy. Let's get him, too. Don't want him messing with our stuff. All right. Here it goes. So... Godlike. Yeah. Oh, heck yeah. Come on. Dude, Colossus. It's going to be, we're going to be able to make it into a mythical god. It's already an Omega, so I don't even have to waste paragons on it to do that. All right, let's get this turd nugget. All right, what the crap is yelping up there? All right, let's just hurry up and do this. How many kibble? Three. Let's go. Quickly, quickly. One, two, three. And tame up. Yes. We haven't decided who we're using for Alpha Rex yet. So uh, this might be the one. It might be the one. What a beautiful thing. All right. Let's get back to the base, guys. All right. Not a bad little get. Seriously. Doing amazing. I'm most excited about, though, checking out the Dodo Rex and the Alpha Rex. So I went ahead. I grabbed two Paragons to bring this guy up to Omega. Yep. I normally don't like to do this, but these stats are phenomenal. So let's go ahead. It's a Meltdown one. Let's turn it into the Meltdown God. All right, let's turn it into the Unstable God and the Alchemy. So it is now an Ancient and it is beautiful. Oh, man. Let's go ahead, pick it up, throw it back out just to make sure it's fully updated. Holy crap. And uh, this guy will take a saddle, uh, one of the saddle, whoa, saddle stones. So I should have one that we can use. Um, yeah, this one. Oh, epic. All right, so we're going to have to try this guy out. Where's my mouse? There we go. Very cool. And then for our rags, I went ahead, threw on some armor. Let's go ahead. Oh, man, we might have to do this one uh, down a little bit further because this one, it's a phoenix type. But um, we are going to make it into it's already an omega. So let's turn it into the Phoenix God. Boom. Let's turn it into the mythical God. Boom. And the Anima Soul. Holy crap. All right. That looks a little weird. I think I got to pick it up. Boom. And let's have a look. See, this thing is redonkulous. Look at that. Oh, man, this is going to be epic. Holy crap. Remember, this guy is going to be able to get pygmy boost. So it very likely is going to be one of the creatures we use. Um, This guy didn't end up being anything that special. But it does have three paragons in it. So that's pretty cool. Fuel, amazing. We can mix that with the trilobite. This guy, phenomenal twister to go along uh, to make better versions of Smokey, I believe. Um, our Megatherium, I went and checked the uh, Lich King. It does. This one does have lower melee, but it does have higher health. So potentially we could breed between the two of them. And uh, yeah, let's go for a quick ride here and then let's go hatch out our eggs. So, oh my goodness. This is going to be epic. 
All right, buddy bro. So before putting any levels into him. Oh, he's a noisy one. Oh, three mil. Come here. Holy crap. This thing is so cool. All right. Huge because it's the unstable one. Huge, huge. And then, oh, that's it made a copy of myself. If I hold down the thing, I think that's how we do the meltdown. Boom! That is sick. And look, at I'm continuing to hold it down. We, I guess, I don't know. It's kind of hard to see it. Kind of hard to see it. But yeah, this is one of the ones where it's got the uh, explosions. Good God, this is crazy loud. Why has everyone got to be a summoner guy that we do? All right, come here, come here. Boom! And it knocks down all the trees. Get wrecked. Yeah, this thing is super sweet. All right, anyway, anyway, anyway. Oh, no, don't do that to me, please. Remember, this was before we put any levels into it, hitting three mil. It's absolutely insane. Let's next try our Rex. Where is it? Oh, and we got to try Shiver, too. I almost forgot. That's like one of the biggest, uh, biggest tames of the day. All right, come on. There we go. Look at the size of this. It is obscene. Holy crap. What's it hitting for? Two mil. Oh, wow. Come on, bite him. All right. I like this. This thing is going very likely it, we, if we use our paragons, uh, if we decide that this is the alpha Rex we're going to be doing, um, which it very likely might be, um, this might start uh, doing, you know, our bossing with it. That is nuts. It is super cool. But remember, we're going to get all the pygmy boosts this guy will uh, will get. And it will be crazy strong. So incredibly cool. Anyway, uh, let's wait until uh, morning because I think it's about to get dark. And then... Whoa! I think he did a psychosis on us. Or something along those lines. Um, Let's wait until morning and then let's hatch out our new hybrid. All right, morning has arrived, but we got to real quick, real quick. We got to do the Megalodon. I almost forgot again. So this guy we got to throw out into the water and it's only a beta, but I made what we need to make it a higher tier. All right, so hopefully don't attack me stuff. Shiver. Let's go. All right, quickly put on the saddle. Shiver, get over here! Oh God, it's only a beta. Come here, come here. Get, no, no! Oh God, oh God. Oh Lordy. All right, leave, leave Shiver alone. Holy crap a moly. No, 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 no. Let's get out of here. Everybody mad, look at that face though. All right, I think down here it's a little bit more clear or a little bit a little bit less crazy. Okay. So, let's go ahead. Let's get it to Alpha Prime Ultimate Omega Epic. Heal up, my friend. Oh, we got to wait. Come on, come on. Hurry. No, 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 no. Go. All right, and food. Go. Get out of here, you dumb thing! Get wrecked! All right, so... Yep, not bad. Let's take a look. So this guy's typing is... Blizzard Ghost. I don't know how it went out of the water. Let me just see what happens. Huh? Okay, okay, we, we gotta be at the top of the water right here. All right, that's the furthest that we can go. 
Oh my lordy. But we're an Omega now. And boom! Blizzard! Oh, very epic. Very, very nice. And 41 in the melee. It's not bad. Not bad at all. So we're going to have to uh, figure out how we can take on um, the god and the ancient for this guy. But really quite possibly one of the better water creatures. So I like it. I like it a lot. And remember, ghost is a 16 times multiplier. And at night, it uh, is when it gets its huge boost. So this is its daytime, which is actually nerfed like crazy. It's probably going to be hitting for way over a million at night already. Just as is, mind you, without any levels pumped into them yet craziness but we'll worry about this guy more later i just wanted to get the saddle on and all that sort of goodies let's grab all that stuff bada boom and bada boom beautiful all right let's go hatch out this egg all right let's do this and mr egg popped out Oh, now it's going to take the body of the Titanosaur, so it's probably going to be pretty dang big. Let's go! Weird! That is so goofy. Remember, when they're babies, they always look messed up. So, let's take it and let's toss it back out. My lordy, you're huge. You're huge. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, let's... Uh, good God. Let's put in the uh, shrinker thing. All right. And I want you... Whoa, where are you going? It looks so goofy. What the crap? Now, we got to get the special saddle for it if we really want to be able to use it properly. But um, you know what? Let's, let's scoop you and scoop you for now. All right, cool. And let's go ahead and take... Where is it? Atlas. Oh my goodness. Look at those stats too. That's improved from our Paris air. Oh, all right. We got it. We got it. Holy cow. Look at this thing. It is super goofy, but um, on a plus side, it is smaller than what the Titanosaur is. Remember the Titanosaur I had shrunk. Let's look at this guy when he's shrunk. Boom. Little tiny guy. All right. But the really cool thing about this is it is absorbent and uncontrollable. And look at that. Without any levels pumped into them or anything, it is 1.1 billion just at Omega. Yeah. Insanity. And then it has a much higher multiplier. So this is going to basically become what our new protector is. Yeah, it is a huge improvement. So I am quite thrilled. I don't know if you guys even know how good this is, but this is a legendary moment in the series and quite possibly going to be what helps us to defeat all the final uh, final stuff. Because I do think this is probably the best absorber in the game. It's like, you know, it protects you while you're doing boss fights. So pretty huge. Um... I'm debating if we should make our next uh, guy with the glow bug, too. Because this glow bug is insane. Um, Perhaps, perhaps. We will have to see. But let me see what we need to do if we were going to try and attempt to take on this guy's guide. I don't know if it were going to be good enough today, but we can look at it. All right, it's been a hot second since we've uh, I've checked how our Parasair uh, Ethereum uh, things are doing. And we actually had loads now. Yeah, really take it on all those Paragon gods. So we can actually get, yes, our protector to 100, which is huge. So good job, buddy, bro. And... Our new guy, we are able to get all the way to 50. So um, it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good that we're going to be able to possibly take on the gods and whatnot. I did go ahead and I made all the shenanigans uh, necessary. Let's just see. Did I put away? Nope. Let's make sure that we have enough. 
I can't remember if I did 50 plus enough to do the saddle or not. Now, the sketchy thing about this guy is it actually cannot wear a saddle, any saddle. It has no saddle, but its own saddle. So that basically means we're going to have to take on the gods, um, saddleless. So, okay, good, 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 good. I actually have one more than I need. All right, fair enough, fair enough. Oh, man, are you going to be able to do this, buddy, bro? I just don't know. All right, um, let's go ahead, scoop you. And I I don't know, I guess we'll try the god on its own. Um, Other things, uh, I went and I actually found the correct nest, and it is better than the nest that we already have. Yeah, really good. Plus the twister. So we pretty much just want to get the melee passed over from the twister. If we get anything more, that would be sweet as well. Twister, nest, bada boom, epic. And we got our egg. So hopefully, hopefully we can get the best stats from both of them. We just got to move over one stat from the twister. And it's going to make our best smoky ever. So let's go ahead, get that incubated. You know what, guys? I want to find out if we got our best new one right now. Let's get it done. And yeah, baby, we did. We got the health. We got the melee. It's our new very best look at that we just didn't get the oxygen and the movement speed which who cares holy crap oh no oh the nest was only a prime crap nuggets all right well that doesn't matter we can we can still get them all leveled up but that is epic our new best smoke oh heck yeah all right so let's go ahead over to the arena now all right, this is going to be pretty interesting. Um, Let's just see here. I noticed all my behaviors change for a lot of guys. Super annoying. But anyway, um, we're going to try it with the protector. I don't know if it's going to work out well, but the only reason we have the protector up is really so that our ducky can help curse to help out the Atlas. So hopefully that works. Otherwise, I've heard you can just let him run wild and he should be good enough. All right, and of course we have a potion dino to assist. All right, hopefully this isn't a mistake doing two at once. All right, come on, guys. Come on over here. Let's go. Whoa. Cheesy peds. All right, all right, he's hitting. I hope, is our guy even hitting? Oh, nuts. He's not. Ugh. They're hitting us. We're not hitting them. All right. I'm just going to let our guy run wild. Oh, we didn't even level him up yet. Crap. This is dumb. Oh, mistakes were made. Big mistakes were made. Oh, Nelly. All right. I got to teleport these guys out of here so that I can level this guy up because otherwise he's not going to be I don't know I mean we do have 50 paragons but he can't reach them all right all right oh man this is going to be dumb all right we're going to probably die right here just just letting you know Oh, crap. All right, we got to get our guy leveled up. I don't know why I didn't even think about that. All right, I have no clue where all of our experience potions are, but those ones just give a boosted XP. So, um, I'm just letting this guy run out in the wild and slowly get all of his XP himself. So hopefully it doesn't take too long. We only got, I think, like 20 or 30 minutes before the the gods despawn. So we'll do our best. All right. We should hopefully be good. Thank goodness. When you're putting in levels, he kind of chills out because of the leveling animation. All right. So let's just get it to 88. All right. And the rest into food. 
All right, buddy, bro. And we got to get over there, like, with the quickness. All right, fair enough. All right, come on, Solar. I'm just going to ride Solar. And, um, oh, let me, uh, let me switch into my uh, Eclipse gear. Let me see. I think I leave it in here. All right, cool. Let's grab all of my Eclipse gear so that I can, if I need to curse and help him out, we can. I was hoping we could use the Parasair, but not looking too good. All right, fair enough. All right, so let's get on over to the thing, and then I put a teleporter in him. We can just pull him. All right, so please still be there. Otherwise, that's a waste of two Paragons. And, oh, all right, fair enough, fair enough. All right, buddy, bro, you can do this. I have faith in you. Oh, my goodness. All right, so we just got to stay near him. And we should hopefully be fine. I'm just worried about the knockback from these guys. Oh, my goodness, they hit from so far away. All right, come on, bro. Dude. Four million it's hitting him for, but our guy has. Look at how much health. Oh, he's actually putting a dent into him. Yes. All right. It's looking good. Yeah, baby. All right. That's one down. See, I would have been able to make him godlike. All right, so we know the drill. Um, I'll be back once we are, I guess, taking on the Ancient. Yeah, we got it. Oh, what a beautiful thing. All right, come here, buddy. All right. Um, hopefully this goes a little bit smoother. I decided I'm going to go on the Paraceratherium and uh, actually be able to move him around while bubbled up. And then I can dismount and freely curse him. So hopefully that works out well. Um, let's go ahead, do the egg cracker. All right. And then I can also, you know, help protect our Atlas a little bit. Come on, buddy. Let's go. All right. There we... Whoa, that's a lot of damage. Let's help protect. All right, and curse. Is that hitting him? Is that even cursing him? I don't even know if he gets cursed. Unless cursing doesn't work that way anymore. I need to be closer. Yeah, there we go. See, he's getting cursed now. All right. This is going to take a hot second, but uh, it'll get done. All right. It's about to be finished. Nice. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give yes. All right. Come here, buddy. That's quick, quick, quick. Don't you, don't you want it? Oh my goodness. Stop. Stop, stop, stop. Yes. Ancient Atlas, baby. Oh my lordy. That is awesome. Yes, I do. All right. Here it goes. Get out. Definitely going to want to help Curse. And then also give our guy a little bit of protection. But holy crap, will you look at this guy's health? Oh, that is insanity. All right, you're right, buddy. Oh! All right, he hits for way less than what the other guy did. He's only got... But he has element type as well. All right, might take a hot second. Let's uh, let's get nice and close. All right, and let's start. Kurt. Okay, bubbles up. There we go. Oh, you melt him, bro. You melt him. Almost there. 
Yeah, baby! We got it! Oh! Don't smash me, please. Awesome. All right. Uh, did the saddle get picked up by something? All right. It might have got picked up by one of these guys. In which case, it would be back at the base. Oh, oh, no. There it is. There it is. Ha ha. Immortal saddle. Oh, yes. That is cool. All right, that's not too shabby. 28% damage reduction, 20% chance to dodge, and an armor bonus of 262. Plus a little impulse, which I don't know if it's necessary. All right, buddy, bro. Let's toss him out and see if we can get him equipped with it. Bada boom, and quickly, quickly. Bada boom. Awesome! Look at you, brosy. All right. So, come here. Let's go head back to that area. By the way, after picking up the, the glow guy, look at that. The glow stuff stays in there. It's so bizarre. I don't know what the crap is going on, but, you know, anyway, just showing you. All right. So, let's go last remote. And I'll show you why exactly this guy is so good. It is the upgrade to the Parasair. So. Let's toss them both down. So let's put down. Uh, Parasair. And then we got to quickly. Uh, come on. Oh, dang it. So annoying. All right, so we got it. So here's the Paris air bubble. Boom. Okay, you might say, okay, that's pretty cool. What about this guy? Well, and by the way, this guy won't let me ride him, so I got to do it like this. Toggle bubble on. Boom. Look at how much larger of a bubble this is. It's night and day. It's crazy town. So our area of protection, I mean, look at this. If we move them up a little bit, you could have protection from pretty much right here all the way back to here. It is nutty. Okay, next up, this guy is element type, just like this one. Um, the Phoenix, eh, you could argue why that's good or not good, but um, look at the health. 33.8 billion this guy with only 50 paragons that's a lot that is a crazy lot what is that a trillion 1.2 trillion it's huge and again we get the element just like this one did um let's go ahead and turn that off so we don't have to waste stamina potions on both toggle off bubble so it gains the element variant still. Um, it is immune to damage impulse. Um, double absorbent radius. Now it does lose out on a few other things. Um, the other guy was immune to bleed. Let's just look. So immune to psychosis, fear, Im uh, impulse, and bleeds. Whereas this is not, it's immune to impulse, but that's it. But double absorbent radius, and then it says if absorbent, 300% ability damage. And then it also has the chance to drop um, plague meteors on attack, which you saw a few times. So pretty cool. This is the next, uh, I mean, just health wise, huge, huge upgrade and a much larger bubble. So, I mean, we can fit a lot more guys in and just have a lot more freedom. So the big downfall is, yeah, you I mean, you got to weight them both down, but you can't mount this guy. So anyway, I think that is epic. I'm so very pleased. And uh, oh, one other fun little thing, too. I did I keep him in here. I went ahead and did the fights with our Smokey. And got the rest of the shenanigans we need to bring our new smoke up to Ancient. So let's go pop over to the base and do that. 
All right, I'll get his egghead in a moment. Let's go ahead. And godlike and ancient. So now we'll start pumping the paragons into this one instead. We probably already got a bunch, but that is epic. What a great day, guys. So many epic new things. Plus, we have the shiver. We've got the rexes, the dodo, right? Like, it just goes on and on. I can't believe it. Um, anyway, on that note, guys, I think it's that time. Let's go through those comments. All right, guys, I just finished going through the comments and yes, it is now that time. That's right. Time to name the dinos. For those of you that do not know, at the end of every single episode, I go through the comments of the previous episode and I pick out all the most awesome name suggestions that you guys leave in the down there. That's right. Just remember, if you want to have a chance at getting your name chosen, you got to be a subscriber. So smash that subscribe button. And yeah, just comment down below. It is just that easy. Anyway, for today, we have, let's see here, a whole bunch. Um, Not everyone. We got a lot last time. So uh, not everyone got a name, but the ones that did, we have Hypnos. Awesome. We have Bob Balls, which was actually recommended for another guy, but I thought it fit for this guy better. So we got our new Bobbles for a cold snap. We have Gengar. Totally love it. Pokemon reference. Very suiting. We have Spike. Love it for our mace. And Parthenax. Yes, Skyrim reference. Very sweet. For next time, we need a name for our ancient atlas, our new ancient smoke, and 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 what else we get? The essence soldier. We got the explosive T-Rex. That was from the time before. Didn't get a name. I don't know why the thing didn't work on it. So that's got to be a bug. Um, ancient mythical alpha T-Rex. Got to do that one. The unstable Dodo Rex. The Lich King Fuel. Um, I guess our new nest gets a name too. Our new Twister. Our new Extinction. And our new Shiver. So help me out, guys, in the comments. Anyway, um, yeah, we're getting closer and closer to taking on the final bosses of Omega. We got to finish getting prepped, though. So the next ones are a toughie, but it, I think we're pretty close. So here's to getting ready. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to show that support. Slam that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel or you haven't yet, please do not forget to subscribe to the Daily Arc Awesomeness. And as always, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks again and peace out.